Hey there crafters, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails. Today I have an exciting topic for you, screen printing on wood. From my other videos, you know that I teach all about screen printing with your vinyl cutter on things like t-shirts and bags, but did you know you can also screen print on wood? It's a similar process, but I have a few important tips to share with you in this video so that you can get nice, sharp, crisp lines, even with detailed designs. If you're a sign maker, this is going to save you a ton of time. With screen printing, you set up your design once and then you can print one after another so much quicker than hand painting or stenciling. Once you lift the screen, your print is done. No peeling off a vinyl stencil. So let me show you how to set up and screen print signs from start to finish. Before we begin, let's go over the materials you'll need for this project. First, you'll need a wooden surface. It can be a plain board or a wood blank from the craft store. I'm using a round board for this, but you can use any shape. The key is that you need something that is flat and smooth. Pieces with a lip or a border can be tricky to get your screen printing frame in. Same goes for wood with lots of texture. You don't want something that has a lot of grooves because the ink can spread unevenly. Next, you will need a screen printing frame. For this project, I'm using a larger 16 by 20 frame. I'm gonna secure it to my table with a couple of hinges that I have attached to a scrap piece of wood that is a half inch thick. Creating a hinge setup is gonna make it easier to line up the screen on my wood blanks so the design prints in the right spot on each sign. Additionally, you'll need screen printing ink. Normally, I would use Speedball acrylic ink for my wood signs, but it will also work with Speedball fabric ink. Today I'm using red fabric ink because I didn't have any red acrylic ink on hand. Speedball ink is my recommendation for printing on wood because it cleans out of the screen easily so you can reuse your screen after this project. And this ink will also hold up on the wood very nicely. You're gonna need a squeegee, transfer tape, painter's tape, and your design cut on permanent vinyl. Step one is to prepare your wooden surface for printing. I've painted mine with an acrylic paint and a matte finish, and after it's dry, I'm sanding the surface lightly. This will help create a better bond between the ink and the wood and give us a smooth surface for printing. Step two is to cut your design on your vinyl cutter. To make it easier to line up my screen and my piece of wood, in my design program, I'm gonna set up my design inside a 15 inch circle, which is the size of my wood sign. I can adjust the wording within the circle how I want it printed on the sign. Then I'm gonna cut it, mirroring my design. I love using my Caesar Romeo for this because I can make larger signs. This cutter cuts up to 24 inches wide, allowing me to do this project in one big piece of vinyl rather than trying to piece together multiple cuts. So with your vinyl design cut and weeded, you're gonna transfer this vinyl to the back of your screen printing frame. This is the same transfer process I use when I'm making shirts, so if you're unfamiliar with these steps, be sure to watch one of my beginner videos linked above. I'm placing this in the middle of my screen, but the exact placement isn't important. We'll line up everything in the next step. With the transfer tape removed, we're ready to secure the frame inside the clamps. Step three is to line up your wood blank under the screen with your vinyl. Because my vinyl is cut the same size circle as my board, I can use the edge of the vinyl to position my wood underneath in the same spot. If you're gonna make more than one sign with this design, be sure to mark your spot on the table where your wood blank is lined up so it'll be easy to place the next sign in the same spot. One thing I noticed when I put my sign under the screen is that my screen isn't coming down evenly on the board. From this angle, you can see there's more space on the right side. To fix this, I'm gonna use a block of scrap wood to lift up the side of my screen printing frame. You want your screen even over your wood blank so the ink distributes the same over the entire sign. This part of the setup might take a little engineering to get the right placement of your screen, but use whatever scraps you have on hand to make it as even as possible. And you want a little space between your screen and your wood blank. Now that it's lined up, I'm gonna use painter's tape around the edges of the vinyl so the ink doesn't go through these open parts of the screen and get onto my table or the edge of my sign. Step four is to apply the screen printing ink. Spread a good amount of ink onto one end of the stencil. Then we're gonna use the squeegee to drag the ink across the stencil to coat the screen. 
Now we're gonna lower the screen and squeegee again, applying even pressure. Notice that I'm using a squeegee that's wider than my design. You wanna avoid overlapping your print strokes. This can cause the ink to look uneven. You'll notice I only go over the design two times. If I continue to go over it again and again, the ink will start to bleed. Step five is to lift the screen and reveal your printed design. This is always an exciting moment. Gently lift the screen straight up, making sure not to smudge the print. And voila, your design is beautifully printed on the wood. Now the great part about this is that you can reuse this screen to make multiple signs. Just place the next blank under your screen and squeegee ink over again. You can use this one screen to make hundreds of signs. When you're all done making your signs, remove the vinyl and wash your screen. Then you'll need to allow your ink to air dry. It's essential that the ink is fully dry on the wood before handling or displaying it. The ink dries pretty quick, but I usually leave mine for about 24 hours. After it's dry, you can spray a clear lacquer on top to seal it. This is important if your sign will be displayed outside. If it's gonna stay inside, the clear coat is completely optional. The last step for this sign was to add the baseball wood cutout that I found at the craft store to create a little 3D effect for the O. And here's what the sign looks like all finished. And that's it. You've learned how to screen print on wood. This technique opens up endless possibilities for creating personalized signs and home decor. So get creative and give it a try. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming DIY tutorials. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Until next time, happy printing.